But honestly, if you step back from it and you accept what Mike said, which is they're not going to be good for the next couple of years. I mean, you've got to accept that. Who they got, I thought, was pretty damn good work by Jockety. Brandon yeah. Finnegan, uh, by all accounts, can be a, uh, off the middle of the ro rotation guy. At worst, he's going to be a setup guy. He might close for you. But he's certainly great value coming back at a less expensive cost. And he's also got major league experience. And oftentimes, when you trade for somebody at this time of the year, you're not getting players that have major league experience. He does, John. He, he does, and he's got um, three pitches. He can obviously close. He's got that kind of arm, but the Reds envision him as a starter, as did the Royals when they drafted him. He pitched in the College World Series the same yeah. year they pitched in the uh, Major League yeah. World Series. So I think he was a great uh, addition and obviously was the key to that deal. Yeah, and, and, and Mike, this is a guy right here, well, okay, in, in three years when they are good, thinking ahead, your ace is hopefully going <laughs> to be like that. What's that? We like that. We, we, in three years, when they are good. Yeah, I think <laughs> okay. they will be. I mean, I'm I, with you. I, I, think, no, I'm just, I think I like it. I think your ace is going to be Robert Stevenson. Your, your number two guy, if he's healthy, is probably going to be Homer Bailey. And then, if this guy's rolling in here as your third starter, and then you have a combination of De Sclafani or Moscot or Iglesias or any of these other guys that are that are up here now, that's not a bad rotation. It really is. I think.